Hello everyone, this is Kilby Shaman and welcome to uh, my uh, stream uh, of the Season 4, Week 7 of the Atom Shop Review and Weekly Challenges. Okay, um, literally it's just turned 5 o'clock, so um, if if everything going okay, then we'll hopefully see stuff in the Atom Shop itself. Uh, hopefully we'll be the first ones to have a look. Okay, so let's uh, jump into the game and uh, see if the Atom Shop is ready for us, okay? To find the game. There we go. Right, okay. So let's uh, tab out to there. Okay, right. So let's have a quick look then. The Atom Shop first. See if it's updated itself. Okay. We have the Raider Warlord outfit. The antique speed bag, which are, we've already got, um, and the drum set. Okay, so let's have a look at the Raider Warlord outfit. Just a what? Just an outfit, quite literally. Lacy Trapalacia with the Raider Warlord outfit. Uh, craftable workbenches, costing seven hundred. Okay, I've not seen this item before, so possible that it might be a, a new item. There we go, folks. For those who are, are raiders at heart, you can have, you can have a look at that. Right, let's get up from there. The antique speed bag. Um, let's inspect that at least. Right, I'm sure this came as one of the challenges. As part of one the last season, I thought. Um, but there we are. It's now available to buy for those that are interested. That might have missed it last season. Unfortunately, I don't know what the price is. All ah, right, the drum set. Okay. This is a little bit more tempting, unfortunately. Um, okay, so look at a couple of the pictures. Yeah, the only problem with that, well, not with the drum set, but with the stage, is you can't put the stage inside your base. It's got to be out outdoors, and it just does not make any sense then. Um... Mainly because of the concrete foundation. Outside, it's fine. Um, but there we go, anyway. That's the drum set for those that are interested. Okay. Um, so that's the drums of war. <laughs> okay, comforts of home. We've still got that bundle going on. Greatest hits. we got the survivalist free states bundle. Um, the raider waster bundle. The red scare power armor skin. Uh, the Vault Boy set. All right, okay. Uh, the Nuclear Winter poster set. I just have a little quick look at So for those that haven't seen it before. So the Survivalist Free States bundle um, comes with Free States paint for the submachine gun, the Survivalist Power Armor paint set, the green Free States backpack, the Free States Survivalist jetpack, uh, Survivalist paint, Free States Survivalist bandana, Free State Survivalist hat, Free State Survivalist outfit, <laughs> Free State Survivalist flag, uh, the white one, Free State Survivalist flag, black, uh, Free State's camp sign, Free State's go away sign, Free State's no entry sign, uh, Free State's restricted area sign, Free State's unauthorized entry sign, Free State's outpost wall sign, uh, Free State's no entry wall sign, Free State's survivalist icon, and the tan Free State's backpack. So let's just quickly go through them by here. So this isn't a new bundle, it's been out for a while. Uh, it just keeps coming back. Um, to be honest though, it looks like it's like full price um, at 1800 But you are getting a couple of things in there, so it's not too bad. Um, so the Raider Waster bundle is... Okay, so you're getting a... Includes the Waster Tire Backpack. Right, wherever that is. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's the backpack. Um, a waste of paint, a gold 50 cal machine gun paint. That's probably back here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Um, uh, you get a Raider salute. So, pose. A 
Well, I can't see it with that. I presume. Yeah, okay, none of these seem to be showing it. Um, an icon, an outfit, under armor, a flag, well, two flags, and a waist of eyepiece. So that was that. Okay, fair enough. For 1800, um, well, each their own. Red Scare is a returning one. Okay. I don't know if my son got this one. I think he did. He quite likes it. Um, we've got the Vault Boy set, so that's returning. Okay. Who's a light collector now? And we got the poster set. So we're getting what? One, two, three, four posters, by the looks of it. One, two, three, yeah, four posters. Not too bad, to be honest with you, for 100. It's 25 items each, like. Um, anyway, so that's great sets. Vaulting. You can see the things that are leaving um, and specials. Oh, we get some fireworks. Okay, we got the Vault by Power Armor helmets. They're still there. The Super Mutant outfits, and for the Fallout First members, we still got the APC Survival Tent. Okay, so that's that. What else we got going on in the icons? We got a free icon. So let's have a look. Where are you? There we go. So the radar waste icon is free. There we go. And we've already claimed that one. So bundles. There we go. Yeah. For the first, nothing new there. There we are. So an okay week it's nothing spectacular and say so i think the reader warlord outfit may well be a new outfit um and the drum set i think it's new other than that i think it's all you know we had two weeks of new items so you know we can't push our luck too much <laughs> you know, but there we are right so let's uh jump into the game itself and have a look at the challenges so let's uh wake up my main character and we'll uh Dip into adventure. Just wait for the game to load. Deathly quiet, isn't it? At last, right. At least I hope it's loading. Right, here we go. Oh, yes, I left myself outside murmurs, didn't I? Yeah. Or mumbles, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, so let's quickly... We're in a relatively safe area by here. So let's have a look at the weeklies. So the challenges for the weekly are... Claim a workshop 10 times, so that's pretty much a standard one. Complete five daily operations, that's also standard. Complete a gold star daily challenge, that's also standard. Complete 10 events, all oh, right. Consume alcoholic beverages, 15. Craft or scrap clothing, armor, or a weapon, 50 times. Mm, yeah, it's doable. Destroy assorted robots. Okay, so it's iBots, Liberators, Mr. Handys, Protectrons, Sentry Bot, Turrets, Vertibot. Relatively straightforward, to be honest with you. Um, you can either do a few of them down in uh, Watoga. Um, the Liberators you can do outside uh, the starting zone. Um, you can also do... I remember the name of the place now. The place where all the robots are. <laughs> um... There we go. Right, kill glowing creatures, 10 of for the week. That's relatively straightforward. Just head to Welsh or head to Monaga. Um, 
take out the mold miners mostly. Or do radiation rumble, that should clock up a few there. Um, level up three times is straightforward and repeatable XP's. So the dailies for today are daily operation, an event, five alcoholic beverages, join a group with another player, kill 15 feral ghouls, okay. Um, yeah, okay, I can think of why we can do that. Uh, nuclear winter killer player, level up. Okay, so there we go. So let's have a look then and see how many of those we can actually do. Alright, um, those ones won't be so easy. But we can have a look at the alcohol, we can have a look at the clothing and armor. And we can have a look at destroying the robots, perhaps. Okay. So let's tag them. And we can even have a look at that one. Right, two seconds. Let me check on something over here. All right. Nothing about my just my Wi-Fi was still on. Right. So, uh, glowing creatures and robots. Okay. So straight off the bat, well, let's uh, quickly join a group. Um, actually, let's just join that group. Because that will probably fill up quite quickly. But while we're waiting for him to jump in, we can jump up to here. Looks like somebody else already got the same idea. Right, but it is a relatively straightforward place. Robco, right, yes, that's the place. Near, near your base. Yeah. My son in the chat helping me out. Okay, he's already started. Okay, that's fair enough then. We'll jump into the daily ops then, right? Be nice to them. What is the daily op? It won't take us long to do it. Active camouflage. Oh, Bali Galleria. Yeah, not a problem at all. Let's join them. We have an answer for active camouflage. It's called shoot everything. <laughs> Right then, so let's get moving and make sure I got my best foot forward. Right, won't take long. What are you going over there for? I need to be able to see where I'm going. Signal repeater is looking good. Okay. Time to head to the first uplink. It should not take us that long to do this. Don't cross his path because it will make him reset. I tend to just shoot anyway and waste the ammo. Apologies for the noise, folks. I think that's possibly one of the other players. Okay, I think what I might do, I might turn the headset volume down a little bit once I get a chance. Right. Uh, two seconds, let me see if I can get this turned down a little bit. Right. I've turned the headset volume down for the moment, folks. For your benefit, um, I'll turn it back up after the daily op. Okay, 
It's just that the noise is somewhat unbearable. Okay, off we go. I need a heal. And as I say, it's always polite to not cross somebody's path because they could be halfway through setting that machine, the uh, signal. Keeping an eye on these people. Somebody wrong, but yeah. I say. Best to just badly shoot. Um, you sort of know where most of them are going to come from anyway. They sort of all have set paths and choke points. Right, into the middle. Heal. Got a few up by here. Oops, that does not look good. I think my computer is going to crash. Okay, yeah, it looks like my, my game might have just crashed out. I'm assuming you can all still hear me though. The stream still seems to be going. Oh, yeah, can you tell me if the game still go if if the stream's still going on your side? Okay. I'm reloading the game. Hopefully I'll be able to get straight back in. Should I come up with play with party or play with team? Play with team. Yeah, classic Fallout, yeah. Game of the Year edition, even. Cross our fingers, we'll jump straight back in and it wouldn't. 
have killed the boss, but no, my luck they already have, you know, but it is what it is. Okay, so I don't know if it's any point me trying to jump back in. Yeah, they finished it, yeah. Oh, well, fair enough. View operation report to escape. To exit. Yeah, I've lost that one. Okay, I'll have to do it again later. There we go, that's the that's the game for you folks. Uh, sometimes you win. Not off, off, no. Um, <laughs> right, let's try and get back to there then. Uh, we're probably pushing our luck trying to do a daily op in, you know, on the stream, but there we go. Might as well drink some of my coffee while we uh, load up. Right, yeah, we're in a casual team now. They've left. Right then, so. Starting zone, down here. One. Two. Always a good place. I would think that most people come here, but it's, it doesn't seem to be the case. Right, let's have a look at that challenge. Ah, wrong buttons. Right, Z, challenge, weekly, roboty things. Okay, so, all right, we did some in the daily challenge. So we, we destroyed five Mr. Handys. Right, okay. We destroyed five Protectrons. Lovely. We're going to get one more Liberator. Oh, the irony of it. Um, didn't even think. So, yeah, we got to get one more Liberator and four more iBots and an Assault Tron. Um, or a Sentry Bot. Well, we know where there's a nice little Sentry Bot. Right. Let's, uh, find that Sentry Bot. Well, if you've managed to find one more Liberator down here, it would be nice. No, no more, no more sentry bots, folks. Nobody wants to play. Okay, well, there's possibly one on the other side of here. Um, usually go down the path on the other side. There's usually uh, two sentry bots or one sentry bot and a, something else. But if not, the Mamma Mia's will have loads. Oh, not Mamma Mia, Mamma, yeah, you know what I'm on about. Uh, there they are, right. Crikey, I'm terrible with the shooting today. Okay, so that's another robot done. Um, so we want I bots. Yeah, oh, they salt the sentry bot. Right. Okay. Place has pretty much always got one of them. If I remember rightly, is this place? N eight no nine eight N A R regional. It's usually like sort of like protecting uh, some of the carriages with the trains. So let's run down here and see if we can find a sentry bot. Is it which way is it? Yes, yeah, down this way, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Get some eye bots while we're here. There's a sentry bot. Where is it? Actually, two eye bots. Another eye bot. Well, hey, we've done that one. Okay, so that's the first of the weeklies done and out of the way. That was not very painful, let's be honest. All right then, alcohol. Um, 15 of them and glowing creatures. Let's try the glowing creatures. All right, it's going to be hit and miss with them, but we might get a few of them. Well, we could probably get quite a few of them if we go into White Springs, to be honest with you, uh, with the golf course, but that's probably where everybody else is going. So we'll ease up on that. Um, what we'll do instead is we'll head here. There's more chance of us catching uh, a few of the mole miners. And also sometimes with the, uh, the soup mutants, the dogs, Sometimes class is glowing, but we might get a few more miners here. We only need 15 for the week. There we are. See the glowy hands down there already? Lovely. Right, so that's one. Oh, somebody's already been here, as you can see. Oh well, that's the way it is sometimes. Okay, other locations. Let's jump up here. Actually, let's jump up to there. We might get a couple there. Okay, so we got one there, I think, out of the three. Okay. Let's have a look at those feral ghouls then, because we, we need to kill them. Um, the easiest place probably for feral ghouls is probably by here. Oh, actually, no, outside here. For the daily, but some of them might be glowing. Not often. Oh, not, not as often. Um, but it's a quick, easy daily one anyway. So, yeah, just run outside by here. Don't go actually in by there. There we are. And we'll run down here. See if we get a couple more. Oh, back on the beat's on. Oh, there's loads of feral ghouls in back on the beat. And that would also class as an event as well, to be honest with you. Where is that event by? Yeah, so those people that are interested, back in the beat would be a perfect one for the feral ghouls. And 
He's already dead. Yeah. Okay, let's slide on over to back and the beat then. I can, you can hear him. Okay. While I'm here, I'll just take the opportunity to turn my headset volume back up. Okay, folks, just so you can hear the noise again. Um, My gun is very noisy. I'm sure the daily was feral ghouls. Come on, Steelheart. This way. So that gets us our event for the day, and it gets us the Feral Ghouls. That's a two for one. It's always good. Right then, so where were we with the rest? Let's uh, park ourselves somewhere relatively safe. So, um, up by here would be good. And, uh, right. We've only managed to kill two glowing creatures. We've still got to do alcohol. And somebody's doing collision course, so fair enough. Um, craft or scrap clothing, armor or weapons. 50 times, that's the only thing. Well, okay, really speaking, that's only going to be 25, right? And I'll tell you why. Let us go to my base. It's quite an easy one, actually, thinking about it. Yeah, see, looking at it, looking at 50, so, oh my goodness, it's scary. But yeah, in reality, craft and scrap means you have it. You craft 50, 25, scrap 25. So then all you got to do is think about what's relatively small or cheap that's quick to make, doesn't cost much resources, and you can just do 25 of them. But anyway, folks, um, for those that haven't seen it, um... This is where I put my uh, hot tub up on the deck overlooking, well, overlooking that green fog down there, really. Um, but there we go. Um, so I slipped down into my cliffside folly base and let's look at the armor or weapons. Hmm. Let's see what we can scrap first anyway, so weapons, nothing, armor, one. Right, okay. It's a start. Right. Let's get into entry mode. And we want to make something relatively simple, so I would go with some light armor, a leather left arm, level one, and we want to make 25 of them. 
How much easier do you want it to be? Job done. And now we can escape from that and we can now scrap. Armor. And very quickly. Should pop now. Yeah, because we did one out of sequence, didn't we? There we go. So that was the uh, scrap, craft or scrap armor weapons. <laughs> A lot easier than I thought, to be honest with you. Oh, bro. Kill glowing creatures. Right. Oh, the alcohol. Let's have a look at that. I think I sold all my alcohol in this character. But well, we'll have a look. Um. So we are wanting food and drink. Yeah, I've sold all my alcohol on this one. But what I would suggest is break it down a little bit. If you've got multiple characters, great. Uh, either that, or you're going to need to get hold of some Addictol. Okay, with the Addictol, just get them out of the way. Just drink them and then use the Addictol. Right? Um, what I'll do, I'll just quickly check one of my other characters, just in case they might have a bit of alcohol on them. Right, so I'll just nip out of here. Okay. Bit of peace and quiet for five seconds. Let's try... Hmm. Let's try Ardell. Uh, the advantage of having multiple characters as well is if you've got to do something like that, you can spread out the cost and the effects so you don't get, you know, one character completely oblivious. And at the end of the day, you do have all week to do the challenge. You know, it's not really that much of a chore, uh, drinking a bit of alcohol. So you could do, like, two today, two tomorrow, and work your way through the week, like. Right there. Wait for the base to load in. Thank you very much. Right, and let's have a look. And what do we have? Right, cranberry moonshine, that's an alcohol. Yeah, she's not too, doing too good either, is she really? Oh, uh, right. Food and drink, okay. So, cranberry moonshine, one. Fine, let's drink the vodka on her. That's all we found on her. Leave world, rinse and repeat. Yeah, is there any way you can remove that for me off the chat? Okay then, let's uh, jump in the base. Oh, now my roof appears. Hi, typical, isn't it? So a quick look in the stash. Food and drink.
Yeah, okay, let's forget that one then. So, folks, as I say, the alcohol one is not really that difficult. It's just I tend to sell all my alcohol. <laughs> I don't use it. I, I don't use the buffs for alcohol. Um, so I, I would basically just grind it out. Uh, Sons of Dane actually is a good place you could go to. Uh, we could go there and have a look. Just for the moment. There's usually a few bottles dotted around, inside and outside. Um, some of them actually with beer in. Right, so if we could run up here. Once I get my bearing, that way. Right. Let's go with that one. And that one had classed as uh, ghouls as well, Sons of Dane. And you never know, you might have some luck with some glowing creatures. Oops, I need to heal. Oh, ouch. All right, okay, fair enough. Well, bear with me, what I'll do, um... There we are. I'll take it off the stream. At least that's the theory. Right, why was I so much like a... Uh, well... Terrible, that one. Oh, I can hear a bobblehead. Or oh, magazine. I think I know where that is as well. I think it's the one that's out here on the shooting range. There it is. But yeah, there's a, quite a few bottles by here. Also, some tin cans for lead. If you are looking for bottles, sometimes it is worth exploring by here. Some of them are mostly empty, you know, but you never know. If you jump back inside, there's probably more chance of them have actually having beer than the ones inside, especially in the fridge. Um, Here, what are we? Oops. Okay, there's a new Riverdale. Any on the tables? Let's see what we got on us now, anyway. Right, food. We've got a new Riverdale. So far, we got one. <laughs> that takes us to the grand total of three. <laughs> uh, have a quick look upstairs. You can also buy some beer at the train stations. There's a Blackwater Brew. There we go.
grab Teddy. And we can nip up here. And what some people tend to forget with this area here is by here. We got it's always like cement, yeah. Comes in handy. And a shovel for those that need it for uh, the cemetery. Okay, and we also got a scrap bench here, which is also handy. Always handy. There we go. Uh, I'll say a few of the challenges done. Not all of them, granted, but we've got a couple of the weeklies out of the way. And I say they're not too difficult. You could probably scavenge those cabins by there and by there for more bottles of beer. Say the train stations is another place. Um, yeah, I shall leave the stream here anyway. Okay, folks. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hope the Atom Shop review was okay. And say the daily and weekly challenges, they're not that difficult. Okay, so um, there we go. Let's uh, log out of this once I remember how. Leave the world. There we are. And uh, let's have a look, see where we are at the moment. We're on the scoreboard ourselves. Oh, there we go. We managed to get another level. So we are now ranked 93. Not that many to go, to be honest with you. And we've hardly dented the weekly challenges, really. Um, so we'll probably pop another two or three of these within the next uh, day or two. You never know, might finish by the end of, the, of this week. So that wouldn't be too bad. Week seven, and we would have finished the scoreboard. I know there are those that have done various things to speed up even more, but, you know, that's up to them and that's their choice. Um, but there we go. Anyway, nice chatting to you, everyone. Uh, catch you all next week on uh, week eight. Okay, bye for now, folks.